I suppose really I've always painted and drawn. Um, it's, it's something I've loved, but I remember a key moment being when I was at primary school and uh, uh, I was asked to draw a fish. I seem to remember it was a pike. And, uh, and at the end of the year, you get all the exercise books and you know, you take them home and you look through them and you know, usually throw them out. But I remember it had a star and you know, I didn't very often get a star from anything at school and it was a gold star stuck on this picture. And I remember ripping it out of my exercise book and putting it on the wall and thinking, God, that's it, you know, yeah, I can draw. And then kind of that recognition kind of led on from there. And then I became the one at school that everyone said, can you draw this for me? Can you draw that for me? And so, you know, when you start to be known as that person, you, know, you develop a love and an interest and you invest the time in, in developing uh, yourself as an artist. So, yeah, I've always painted, always drawn, you know, loved it. I paint because it's what I do. It's uh, it would be missing in my life if I didn't do it. It's kind of part of what I am. It's part of how I work. If you know, I get wake up excited at half past five in the morning, thinking, "Oh, I'm going to go down to the studio and I'm going to paint this," or I stand in the shower thinking, "Oh, what if I put those two colours together and and this could work?" Or if I did a face like that, or the eyes worked out this way, and then so yeah, it's kind of part of what what makes me, makes me work, makes me tick. I think if I stopped doing it, it would. Uh, yeah, there'd be something missing in my life, you know, a massive part. So, yeah, not so much I love it, just I have to do it, you know, can't stop. Free Art Friday is a very simple idea where artists create a piece of artwork and instead of putting it in a gallery or trying to sell it somewhere, they take it out on the street uh, and they leave it somewhere for someone to stumble across and find. I, I kind of started the, you know, my, my little project of Free Art Friday based on kind of seeing street art around the streets and really enjoying it but uh, not feeling that I was necessarily wanting to go out and spray on people's walls so I love the the urban um, decay I love the kind of the background that these street art pieces were going on and, and I wanted to try and include that in my work some way so by able to kind of paint something and put it out there um, I was able to to kind of create that you know art in a space and um, it wasn't just for people that were going to walk into the white cube of a gallery um, it was for absolutely anybody and everybody and um, whether they saw that as positive or negative was kind of an added bonus really you know everybody gets the opportunity to make a judgment about it not just look at those looking for art Free Art Friday is a, is a bit of a strange piece. It started as a very solitary project. It was just me wandering the streets of Portsmouth, leaving a you know a piece of work out for people to find. But um, I kind of linked in with social media, and and you know little groups started, and spin-off groups developed from there. And before we knew it, you know there are people contacting me from all over the world, from Russia and from the states, and um, from you know Romania, and and you know they they're all going, oh, this is what brilliant project. This is fantastic. I'm setting it up. I'm setting it up. And so right across the world, there are these pockets of people that are. You know, regularly taking, you know, making artwork and putting it out on the street and kind of opening it up to a new audience, which is which is amazing. It's kind of beyond anything I imagined when I was just kind of pottering around doing my own thing when it started all those years ago. I'm conscious about the environment that I'm working in, and I don't want to cause uh, any damage or uh, upset the space. I want it to be a positive experience. So um, I try and tend to find the litter that is on the streets, um, bring it back, put a bit of life into it, kind of create my own um, you know, world and my own emotions onto it and then place it back again. So the idea is that you know, I'm not adding anything extra that isn't already there, I'm just kind of beautifying uh, in a small way and hopefully you know, it will be loved and picked up and taken away. So in that way we're kind of cleaning the streets as well. I never know what the future holds. I wake up every day and there's a new phone call and there's a new email, come and paint here, or I've seen your work and it's fantastic. We'd really like to get you, you know, coming to show a piece of work. So um, I don't know, it's great. You know, I'd, I like the idea that uh, maybe Canman has a little bit of life and it can travel to different places. So the opportunity to go and visit and share that kind of Free Art Friday message and get people interested in creating work to go on the street would be, would be awesome. But yeah, I'll just wake up and I'll paint a can and I'll answer an email and a phone call and take every day as it comes. <laughs>